G'day you all. In this video I'll be uh, running through on some techniques uh, that we use in order to polish brass uh, on the Australian Army uh, belt, ceremonial belt and Sam Browns. So uh, I'll use um, a series of cloths uh, on and off uh, and also use uh, an old sock as well. Uh, we'll show you how to use that. Uh, nice cotton sock, nice and soft. Uh, we've got the uh, couple of uh, different um, types of polish that we're going to use. We're going to so use we're going to use the auto sole on the hooks, brass hooks. And as a, just as a comparison, we're going to use the brasso on the keepers, the belt keepers. Um, we're also going to use show you how to use um, the polish in conjunction with some cardboard and. Um, after that, I'll, I'll polish up the, um, the actual buckles themselves, and that will lead me on to the next video, which will also be on how to wear the uh, ceremonial black belt. A lot of people struggle with that for some reason. So here we go. The first thing that we'll do is we'll use our auto sole on the hooks, and then I'll come back and show you how to use Brasso, and we'll use those on the actual keepers themselves. Okay, so using the auto sole, the auto sole is a, a paste. You should use it sparingly. I'll just use it on the top part of the, the hook at the moment. So place a little bit on. And then you just really work that in. Okay, and keep polishing it like so. Okay, it may turn black, which is good. That means that. Um, the actual polish is um, being rubbed in onto the surface and is actually um, polishing the, uh, the brass surface. And so we keep doing that. Now we can use um, cardboard as well. If you have some really fine um, scratches on there, you can use the auto sole in conjunction with your cardboard. And what that allows is the um, the cardboard, which is a um, in conjunction with the uh, the paste, is a very very fine uh, abrasive, and um, it's a very good method of getting the um, very fine scratches out. Okay, and it's just a matter of working that in there. Uh, when it goes black, that's a good sign that you're um, actually getting some polish done on it. So I'll just do the top part of it, and um, this this one here I'll leave um, as it is, and I can just show you um, after we've finished, uh, just a comparison on what the finished product looks like. So you understand that you can really tell if um, if and when brass has been polished. All right, so ideally uh, you would leave the um, polish on top, um, just sitting there. Um, if you had the time, 24 hours is a good amount of time, um, at least uh, at least an hour or so. What it does is then it allows all of the, um, the chemicals to do their work and um, bring out a good finish. So we just keep working that in. And then just we'll let it sit. Right, so that's the um, auto sole on the keeper. Uh, we'll now go on with using the um, the brasso on the keepers. Okay, here we are back with the brasso. Um, important to give the brasso a bit of a shake before you use it. Um, so we're going to use a um, a non cloth onto the keeper brass keeper. We're just going to use the um, the top side of it. Um, it's important, especially with brasso, uh, to prepare your area. So you can see here I've got an old towel on the surface. So um, brasso does tend to um, fly off everywhere, so make sure that um, you have got some sort of um, protection down on the surface that you're using it on. So onto the um, cloth itself, and then it's just a matter of working it in. Uh, so quite vigorous with it. Uh, and once again, you'll see it starts to turn black. Once again, it's like the auto sole. Once it's turned black, you know that um, the uh, actual polish is doing its job. It's, it's turning into a, a very um, minimal uh, abrasive and, and polisher. So when it's black, it's good. 
Okay, and you'd use this uh, same technique on all of the surface of, of this brass keeper. Um, just, just for the purpose of demonstration, it's going to show you how to do it on the flat surface. Um, you can use cardboard like we did um, in the previous auto sole, so just using the cardboard with the polish. Once again, that'll tend to work away any of the um, really fine scratches that you have on there. And you can see it polishes it up straight away. So it's starting to polish up really nicely. Um, so we'll continue to polish it off. Now, uh, for directions of use on the Brasso, you'll find on the back of the tin that it says um, not to let the polish dry. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to leave it on there. We're going to leave it on there for um, probably about you know, 20 minutes or so. Uh, it, it, it'll dry, but not it won't dry to a, um, a really hard um, finish. Uh, you'll know, I mean, you can leave it on, say, 24 hours is probably the most you want to leave it on there. Uh, after that, it really does cake on, and then it's quite difficult to get off. Um, so there we go. That's uh, bringing up a nice sort of black luster on there. Um, really working it in, and then it'll and then it'll come up quite nicely. All right, so we'll let that um, sit there and let it activate, and we'll come back and do the uh, the off polish, and we'll bring you back for that. Right, so that's been about uh, 20 minutes, so what I'm going to do now is I'll just um, polish off the, uh, the auto sole from our hook, our brass hook, uh, and let you know how that goes, and we'll compare it against the, uh, the one that we haven't polished. Uh, like I said, 20 minutes is a good amount of time. I would try to um, not leave it on for any more than 24 hours. Uh, it cakes on, it gets a lot harder, harder to um, move off. So now we, and we can use a, um, an off cloth. Um, in this instance, I'm going to use an old sock, okay, it slips over your hand uh, and, and what it does is, is it allows you to use your fingers, all your fingers and thumbs and nails to get in all the crevices and get all the polish off. And you can see by using just your hand, I've also got some black stuff on my hand as well, so in time you use a sock you, uh, or some protective coating like that, you know, your hands are going to be free, especially when you move around touching other bits of um, your items, you don't want to put down any of this stuff on there, it's very, very hard to get off. Right, so here we go. Uh, the off. Okay, and like I said, the good thing about the sock is it allows you to get into the, all the little fiddly bits. Okay, use your nail, use all of your fingers, get in into all the crevices, because all the polish and uh, the paste sticks in there underneath, sticks in everywhere, so it's a good idea to pay some attention and, um, to get all that out because that will become quickly apparent um, when it dries especially with the brass so it will dry to a, a like a greeny colour so it's um, very easy to see if um, any residue has been left on there Okay, so just concentrate mainly on where we used the, the majority of the polish, which was on the top part of the hook here. So that's come up quite nicely. If we compare it to the one that we haven't polished, uh, you can see it stands out, and that did quite a good job. It come up quite nice. No worries at all. Now we'll move on to the keepers that we used with the uh, Brasso. So that's all Brasso. Uh, here's one of the buckles that we haven't used. Okay, so that's the old state. Uh, so just to do the polish off, once again using uh, Old Mate's sock. Okay, just on that flat bit. Okay, it allows us to rub it in nice and get that all off. Okay, and after we've done that, uh, we'll compare it to the uh, the old brass, and then we'll compare the the auto sole and the brasso side by side and see if there's any discernible difference. Okay, so we really only, um, just for this purpose, we only just polish the flat part, the easy part of the, the keeper. Uh, you can see when we get into the roll part of the keeper, that's where your thumbnail really comes into play, uh, moving it out and getting in into the actual keeper itself when you start polishing the whole thing. All right, so pretty much finished polishing it off there. Okay, not a bad sort of shine.
as compared to the uh, buckle. And if we bring them side by side, okay, so we've got the uh, the auto sole, not a bad job, and the brasso pretty good as well. So you really can't really tell much of a difference. They all, they all think they work um, pretty much as good as themselves. So it comes down to preference. All right, so I hope you um, got something out of that. And like I said, my other videos will, will move on and I'll discuss how to um, when you incorporate the, the brass onto your, your belt, ceremonial belt, uh, and also hooking your, uh, your hooks onto your poly. Some people struggle with that too for some reason. So um, stay tuned for the next video. Um, of course, Brasso, use it on the brass. If you, you're the guys who um, wear silver on your belts, obviously silver is the, uh, the, the better one to use. Auto Solo you can use on your silver as well, I, I, I suspect. Um, but once again, any feedback, any comments that you have, uh, please share. All right, thanks for your time. All right, just quickly, uh, just a couple of additional um, methods that you can use, especially when you get into using your um, polishing your buckles. The, the polish will tend to get it caught into all these crevices in, in around here. Um, so a couple of ways to get in there is to actually thread thread the um, polishing rag through there, okay, and, and work it in through all of those those crevices uh, to get it all in and out. Uh, another way is to um, use um, like a, a pen lid that I've got here because that that pen lid the tip there is quite soft and. Um, it is um, quite accurate on getting into all of the corners and won't scratch the brass. Uh, and another method is by using the same sort of thing but using dental floss to work into all of the corners to get all the brass out because what uh, brass out or the paste out because once it does dry, okay, once it does dry, it'll dry um, as a, a green. And um, like another good tip when you're uh, polishing, especially your buckles. Um, because there's a lot of crevices that the uh, the brass wool polish can hide, brass wool polish can hide. Use your um, polish sparingly, so don't use massive welt um, gulps of it. Just use it sparingly, so it, it just limits the amount that actually trickles over onto that and gets stuck in there. So just um, less is more on these things. Less is more.